For, for stage two, pretty much what I want to talk about right now, it's something, another controversy. When it comes to... All day, baby. We'll all night, controversies baby. all day. It's like this This week was a little bit slower news. It's pretty much on controversy what's been, been on right now. So uh, what I want to talk about is, is console wars. Console wars. Uh, we have Phil Spencer recently praising the PlayStation controller. I, I, I talked to you about this today. The new one, the DualSense 5 or whatever. Yes, sir. And mm -hmm. you told me that pretty much everybody's praising this controller right now. Whole internet, man. It, it's, it's everyone that touches it. It's blowing up about it. So I was really surprised that he did this. I mean, again, it's the head of Microsoft. Why, why is he doing praising other companies, you know, uh, controllers and, and such? But um, then I started reading about what, what, what his take was on this. And, and pretty much this is what he said. He said, I applaud what they did with the controller. I think for all of us in the industry, we should learn from each other and the innovation that we all push on. Whatever the distribution model is, like Game Pass, Control Tech, or we back in the day. So pretty much he said that he applaud everybody that's, you know, like innovating in the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about this, man? Do you think that he it's in the right mindset when it comes to, you know, praising all, all the companies or should he sticks to the competitiveness of, of, hey, Xbox is better and we're going to kick your ass PlayStation. So hold on. Um, I think Phil Spencer is is is, is a honest. I mean, he's like a good guy, and I think this is totally uh, in character. I, I th yeah, I think this is in his character, and I, I think that he means it, and I think all of it is great. But I mean, I also think that this could not exist like versus Xbox because I, I mean, they're not going to take everything that the PS 5s controller can offer and come out and say, well, the Xbox Series X controller, which is the same thing as the last 15 years of controllers is better. It's impossible. Yeah. Like, I applaud Phil Spencer for doing this, but it's because Xbox didn't even try, man. They didn't do anything <laughs> new. Like, they've been pretty much uh, doing the same thing over and over again. I believe that the most innovating thing so far they have done in decades is Game Pass. That's it. No, they're they're leaning in a different direction, but I think console wars have sort of been dying for a little bit. Like, I mean, they Are they you all sure, man. I I see a lot of people on the internet. Every time Xbox announced something, man, there's like forty tweets that that the first thing that they say is, uh, "Xbox sucks, PlayStation is better." Xbox sucks, I don't, PlayStation I don't, is better. No, I don't mean the internet and and gamers i mean like in terms of like there was a while when it was like sega versus nintendo oh. and then like microsoft versus sony i think that's done man i think they're celebrating with each other and hey let's all make money let's all sell games probably fighting over certain studios that they maybe want to buy but i i mean i don't know i don't know yeah, it, it just, I, I think those kind of commercials, that kind of advertising, that kind of publicity is sort of dead. I mean, if Phil Spencer said, hey, just, just by the way, that PS5 controller, <laughs> no, we hate it. <laughs> Come get an Xbox because that shit sucks. Yeah, like, yeah. The like, whole internet would be like, what? What are you, why'd you do that? What are you talking about? It, it will be like an all the news for him. But, but in, 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 I mean, instead of that, we're getting like positive news from him. So, so what his what is his strategy? You know what I'm saying? Because you know what he, else? He was uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt no, you, man. He, he recently got interviewed by The Verge, and pretty much the the, the thing that he actually says that that grins his gears uh, was pretty much the the, the trivialism of of yeah. we, we like our console our console is better than yours and 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 my stuff is better and 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 you suck and all the things that you are describing which used to be like like back in the in the Nintendo or 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 Sega or, or Nintendo can can't do this Sega is actually fast or whatever whatever the the advertisement was so my 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 question to you is man i mean uh, he he knows that this is isn't over like they, they still trivialism within the, the industry and he hates them oh. so so you think that that pretty much probably he is trying to change that culture and if so is he doing the right thing or do you think he should maintain his competitiveness against the the, the other mm -hmm. company no i think it's i think it's a, a a 400 iq move because it works on a bunch of different layers because 
in, ending a lot of that like trivial like, i mean it, it's the same i mean we grew up with digimon versus pokemon and your one friend that like digimon was the outcast <laughs> and that's toxic and shitty you know like yeah, that's not yeah. cool but it, i mean it works in so many ways because that stuff i mean it sucks and i believe he believes that it sucks but then also everyone right now that saw that is like probably a lot of people anyways will say hey man good for you being like sony hey you guys knocked it out of the park that's some incredible incredible technology microsoft would would you know bow our heads and we would love that which means in a year if the xbox controller does all the same shit be like thanks sony that's hey remember earlier when we said it was cool and we wanted to do it we're doing it now and we we give you all the credit but also for our players yeah. you, hey you can play it on xbox like you know what i mean that's like, it's, I, I want that controller now for my PC, so this might be a good thing for me if they adopt this technology. Mm -hmm. No, if Microsoft picks that up now and they're like, yeah, you can play uh, Horizon Zero Dawn on your PC, you know, whatever, and you get to use the all the haptic feedback and everything, mm -hmm. it's smart. I think it's smart. It's also smart and it's nice, I think, and genuine. I think it's genuine. Yeah, me too, man. I, I'm kind of happy that, that I've seen a lot of news from him like this because i believe he really wants to innovate man he just he just he just doesn't want to get stuck in the same uh vicious cycle of let, let's just pretty much squeeze the most we can from our consumer and they just try to kill the competition like like he's him saying that he doesn't see he doesn't see the future being like for me to win i have to destroy the competition to me that those are huge words like usually the, the mentality of most anyway I mean, yeah, the, most people in, in the capitalism mindset, they're always like, for, for me to win, somebody has to lose. There's no other way around it. Uh, I believe, he, he believes more in that I, I want everybody to win. If, if I have a win and I benefit the industry, then it's a win for everybody. Not only the companies that run the industry, but also for the gamers. Yeah. No, I mean, I think, I mean, he, I think he's also kind of like, you know, to some degree, like Miyamoto, not not in terms of his mind, but I think he's a gamer. You know what I mean? Like, I think he wants everyone to have a good time. Like, I'm sure he, he wants to make money, but no, it just comes off really genuine to me. I don't know. If your specific question is on Phil Spencer, less on the console wars themselves, because that exists in a bunch of different levels. Yeah, I think I think he was, he's, he's, he's one of those CEOs that that's it's trying to change uh the mentality of, of the of the of, of his organization of course and possibly make an impact on the industry which is very positive i i i, I don't know man there's something about him that reminds me so much of of reggie fizeme which was the yeah. ceo mm -hmm. of nintendo Definitely. like like you, you you can feel that love like you can see that there's passion on what they're doing and and it mm -hmm. just kind of emulates uh, or, or basically trust from consumers like i i, I used to love uh reggie fism man this dude is like this shit it was like it's like a showman and he has that that that's that attraction that most ceos don't have but how many ceos do you know from companies i i mentioned reggie fism like from top of my head and it's and it's and it's there's very few that i can do that so so it's really interesting that that he's taking this approach i'm, I'm glad that i kind of know his name you know because he's it's like being positive so, okay man i know this dude and be, mm. basically by knowing a little bit of of his brain and what he thinks about and his policies and, and and seeing that he's always outspoken and he's always like full front when it comes to the to the to the company it gives you a little bit of trust so i don't know man at this this time around and this is not console wars i, I don't I, I mean i might get a playstation at some point but i'm kind of vouching for xbox now I, he got me vouching for them i want them to do good that's the other layer the right I do, and I think that's the the third or fourth layer that I was talking about. Is is he's just being a cool person, and you know he that Xbox is is in the hands of him, and you're like, huh, you know, Xbox is being pretty cool, and then you're thinking in your head, Xbox is kind of cool. Xbox is kind of cool. I don't think it was done as a marketing strategy. Like I, th I'm sure he ran it by his team, and they were like, yeah, this is an incredibly smart move. But that's the other thing too, because I'm the same way. I'm like, oh, cool, Microsoft is is wholesome right now, or at least the Xbox division, you know. Yeah. So I, you know, I'd feel better buying a, a an Xbox, like a, a cheaper one, or like, oh yeah, you know what, Xbox is being chill this year. I'll buy one. 
Yeah, they're, they're pretty much their marketing of making the games as, as accessible as we possibly can. Subscription model, instead of people buying it $60 a piece per game, now 70 with the new price increase. Uh, it makes it makes a difference in the gaming world. So uh, moving forward, we'll see. We'll see if this strategy pays off. We'll see if if what he brings to the table actually it's, uh, is the right move. But so far, I like what I'm hearing. I mean, uh, so we'll we'll keep an eye on them. Uh, and, and we appreciate everything that comes from it. And I, 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 I'm glad and I want that controller to be as good as they say. So I'm, I'm waiting on your feedback, Chris. Dude, I'll I know, know. I know you're I'll know gonna... in a couple episodes, man. Yeah.